Never mind. This is actually really pretty. I like this area. I like it a lot. It's very nice. Hey, Hero. Uh, let's see. We should probably talk to Hero, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should probably talk to Hero about this. Yo! <clears throat> At first I thought it was so blue skies, but turns out they just painted the walls and ceiling. You know? Oh, but the plants are real. It's been a while since I smell vegetation. It helps me relax. What the heck? I need to get water for this guy. It's gonna sound really messed up, but I kinda hope a little bit inside, you know, in my mind, that maybe Hero is the next guy that's gonna die, so that I don't have to do his voice all the time. That's not what you're thinking, is it? Huh? Why, is that bad? Hmm. Don't you get it? Don't you realize? A true horror of plant life? It is there, just beneath the surface. Beneath the calm exterior, they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave us in charge of Earth anymore... The end is nigh! They'll pull the plan for... <laughs> God damn it. They'll pull the plan for global human extinction into action! Uh... Yes, a hero. Have you ate... Have you eaten any of the plants? Well? Jesus Christ. I'm serious! Yep, he, he had some of the plans. Alright, well it's pointless to talk to you at this point. Thanks. You've been a great help. The camera. I didn't point to the camera. I pointed to that thing over there. What about the shack? Is this a chicken coop? What's a chicken coop doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens, right? Like, they don't eat people, or lay bombs instead of eggs, or something crazy like that. Wow. <laughs> lay bombs. I feel like I've experienced that OC not the game before. It seems safe. We can check out each one, huh? It's a chicken. It's not, it's not gonna, like, lay a bomb, is it? It's a chicken. Wait, what does it say again? It's not expecting to be fed like humans, is it? It's a chicken. It really is, right? Like, I can say that for sure. I don't know, some of them don't have tails. Are they are hiding their tails? It looks like roosters, honestly. Except some of them don't have tails. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. It's a chicken. It doesn't have, like, a second form, right? God, Makoto is going crazy here. Makoto is going crazy. He's going to be obsessing with the chickens now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, like the chickens too, Makoto? Yeah, I love this little guys. They're seriously cute, right? There's exactly five of them here. <clears throat> exactly? Hmm. Five, you know, the number that comes after four and before six. At least, in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen. <clears throat> it contains the mysteries of the cosmos. I'm at least 30% right. I need some water again for this guy. I should have just changed the voice from the start, honestly. This is difficult to keep up with. <clears throat> it's a number of power! A refreshing number of on par with hand squeeze own natural lemonade. He never lets me get a wrong award in the in in edgewise, huh? Alright, whatever. Let him do what he's what he does. What? What is it? This thing is super weird. Super creepy. Flowers aren't supposed to get this big. Is this thing real? Watch out! What? That's a Monokuma flower! I came up with the name myself! Try and touch it and you're in for some real excitement! Your hearts are like whoa! And the plants are like snap! And your freshes are like blah, I'm dead! In other words, it's a... Monstrosity. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself! A student helps peak added improvement after improvement and create this miracle creature! The ultimate botanist! Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. Actually... By the way, despite how it looks, the flowers are super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good... <clears throat> so it's totally good for the environment. Well done. Such, such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> now that I don't know anything about that myself... I'm not doing this laughter. A spouting more and more nonsense, Monokuma eventually disappeared. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. What? He mentioned a tragedy. And previous students. Maybe they use... They has to be, there has to have been a previous class, and one of the students of that class caused the Hope Speak Academy to become a thing. 
It has to be it. It has to be. Let's check out the shack back here. Just to be sure, I should check, take a look at that tool shed. Or the tool shed. The place seems totally disorganized. From a lawnmower to fertilizer, flower pots to farm tools. And leaning against the back wall, is that a pickaxe? Is it? Let's check it out here. Huh? There's something carved into the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy... diamond? I feel like I remember seeing that somewhere. Oh wait, crazy, 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 crazy diamond, 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 crazy diamond. Where did I see this? Crazy diamond, crazy diamond, crazy diamond, crazy diamond, crazy diamond, crazy diamond, crazy diamond. Where did I see that crazy diamond thing? Why did I- oh god, this is gonna bug my mind now! Ah, oh, game! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> the different kinds of gardening tools here. Are they trying to get us to become self-sufficient? What else we got? Bags of fertilizer are piled up. There's so many different kinds of <laughs> to choose from. We got coins as well. The no surveillance camera he here. That's for sure. What else we got? So many flower pots. Big ones, little ones, any size you might need. Maybe I'll grow some flowers to put in my room. Maybe. Let's check this out. There's a lawn over here. Even with this here, who's actually gonna take care of the lawn? Somebody would. I guess the ultimate gardening student that used to be here before. Looks like we found everything. We can go ahead and leave. Let's check this place once again and make sure we didn't miss anything out. So, all the way to the right or left. Okay, nothing upstairs either. No, 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 there's a sprinkler. Yeah, there's a sprinkler now. Let's check that out. Those, no those nozzles poking out. Are those the sprinklers? Yep, that's the sprinklers, alright. The, the panel, it has to be the panel. Something with the panel. Something to do with the panel here. There's some kind of control panel seat near the wall. Or set. Does it control the air conditioning or something? <laughs> it's for the sprinklers! <clears throat> God, my voice of him sucks right now. Sprinklers? <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Don't you dare change it without permission. <laughs> Of course, the setting panel is locked, so you couldn't change it if you wanted to. Okay, they are highlighting these words on purpose. We can change it if you, even if we wanted to. They go off at 7.30, we gotta remember that. So that means the sprinklers go off at 7.30 a.m. every morning? Yep, you got it! It's super user-friendly, which sucks. So if you get here too early, you get drenched. So watch yourself! But you're not a little kid, alright? You're too, you're too old to go running through the sprinklers anyway. Yes. Or, do you have some kind of water fetish? <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> God, Monokuma's a sick bastard. Okay, looks like we got nothing else here. Nothing else here either. I think we're done. I think we're done with this place. There's nothing else for us to find. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh, I guess I've seen what there is to see up here for now. But once again, nothing I've found seems to make any real sense. Did you head back to the dining hall and find out what the others turned up? We have to discuss about the room. That room, that big murder room, we have to discuss it. One after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall. And before too long... Hmm. Even would appear everyone has returned. <clears throat> but still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second! Don't you need five people for a volleyball team? I might be wrong, I'm not a volleyball player, I'm by no remark. <laughs> hey, don't be a sourpuss, we gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still feel the basketball team. Hey, yeah, probably could. That's like, reverse positive thinking. <laughs> it kind of is. Anyway, a anyway, there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we lost, we have to do our best. Hm. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone discovered. Okay, well, we'll start with Aoi first. Let's see what she yeah. thinks. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor, front uh, front to back. 
They used to kind of be suck. That used to kind of be Sakura's job, but anyway, no dice, no metal plates, and all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of escape on the fifth floor either. So, um. But but when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around the fifth floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why do you ask? So then. Because if you did, you must have noticed. The fifth floor is lacking something every floor has. Stairs, to go upstairs. Something on all the other floors, but not on the fifth floor. Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Huh? Does that mean... <clears throat> Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? Correct. We're finally starting to get a clear picture of this school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the undying mystery. But... But that's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's is right. Everything will be okay. As long as we work together, I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out. No matter what it takes. Alright, well... Let's talk to Toko the Untalkable. Toko the Untalkable. <laughs> God, I hate myself sometimes. Hey, Byakuya. It seems like Toko wants to say something. What? So, what are you telling me? Hey. Well, cause he told us to zip it or whatever. <clears throat> ah, I'd forgotten about that. Huh? Jesus, man! I know you like torturing her, but come on! <laughs> well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your putrid breath, I won't stop you. God! Poor girl! God, Byaku, you son of a bitch. You're so brutal. <laughs> oh god, never mind. Please, just stop. I hate what she makes up face. She loves being abused like that. God. I feel bad for her, and I'm a little bit turned off. I'm not gonna lie. You honor me, master. <laughs> wow. Okay. And d d don't worry. I took care of the auto problem. Oh, God. Toko. She just taken it. She's a champ in this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You just gonna take it? Shut up, and don't interrupt me when Master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so, do you want to tell us? <laughs> well, I was in a c classroom on the fifth floor, and s something caught my attention. <sighs> it was... this. A knife? <gasps> Whoa, that thing is huge! It's like Rambo size! What? It's a survival knife of some type. But, what is it doing in the classroom? <laughs> How about I know? Very suspicious. <clears throat> what are you gonna use that knife for? What do you plan to do to us? <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. I j just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a knife laying around. How about that? <clears throat> I'd rather have it lay around than in the heads of a serial killer. <clears throat> I do forget that she's a serial killer, or her other personality is. D don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Hmm. Listen, more important, now that we have a knife, what are we gonna do with it? You know? <clears throat> I need to water. I need to water for this guy, especially. Oh, god. Ow. That hurt. <clears throat> we can't let Toga keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what you might do. What's your problem? I don't want it anyway. It's too so dangerous. <laughs> hmm. So what to do? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? Huh? Me? <laughs> oh yeah, I totally trust Makoto to take care of it. Okay. Then that's that. Uh, hold on, don't I get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows you how much... It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> they probably could definitely use me at that point. Think about it. If so, so now that Tok so now that Makoto has it, right? Now if Makoto's gonna have it, here let me go ahead and do this real quick. I probably should have waited to explain it afterwards. Okay, so here we go, Makoto. They act like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. <sighs> anyway, that was all I wanted to say. <laughs> hey, Toko. <laughs> ah, do I still have a bad? Breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. 
You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Did Master just praise me? Oh god, that's gonna go all to a head now. <laughs> hey, good for you! <laughs> She's unhappy about it. I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming. <laughs> ah, that would have experienced such a dream. That I would experience such a dream. God, she's just get. Well, Toku is gone. She's gone to the land of ecstasy. Officially, just gone. Her mind out of this world. She's gone. God damn it! <laughs> That's really what it takes to turn around like that. Oh God, Jesus! I I I feel. I feel uncomfortable just looking at her face. God, let's just stop it. <gasps> and those modes especially. Oh god, am I gonna have to read it out? Oh god. <clears throat> so strange. Really strange. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not reading out the modes. I'm not, guys. No. No. I I'm not. No. I'm not reading out those modes. Imagine her moaning by herself. Whatever I look at Toku these days, it makes me feel sad. <clears throat> God. Anyway, here's the worst part about us having a knife, right? About everybody knowing that the knife is ours. Let's say Makoto puts it away in a desk and somebody sneaks inside, right? Let's say somebody assumed, assumedly sneaks, sneaks inside the room and then they, you know, they, they sneak inside the room, they take the knife perform the murder and then everybody's like hey that's Makoto's knife oh Makoto did it must be this is a terrible thing to do we need to take this knife and put it over in the dumpster and burn it immediately don't give it to anybody god that's literally gonna screw us over so bad let's see what Byakuya says hmm. by the way did any of you find it the other strange room on the fifth floor well no strange is a massive understatement the smell of fresh and fat and blood. Flesh. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? What the hell are you talking about? Hmm. The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. Huh? God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna barf just hearing you describe it. But... But I mean, what the hell happened in a room? So in other words... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> a bunch of people were killed in there? I feel like I need to press on my collarbone to get that voice perfectly. Ugh, without hurting myself too much. <laughs> it's like I'm choking myself try trying to replicate his voice. Stop, seriously. I'm gonna throw up. It can't be. Perhaps that's what was perhaps that what was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> you thinking the same thing then? My theory is, the mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened over a year ago. The awful scene in that room. That was a tragedy that happened a year ago? Makoto just figured it out? I figured this out. In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope Speak Academy. If that's true... It's all clear now. That would explain why Hope Speak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess it'll make sense, but it's so just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right, it's beyond awful. It's terrible, tragic, hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us ever heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Must have. I mean, if they did come out somewhere, you know, it would screw people over. I feel like Toko might have the last clue we're gonna talk to her last. <clears throat> well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. <clears throat> a stupidly large, a stupidly large, a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. <coughs> God, his voice is difficult to replicate. I'm so sorry, guys. <clears throat> anyway, let's talk about the large plant here. Monokuma said that it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seemed dangerous, so you have to be careful. We're serious. It's totally a man-eating plant. 
I'm pretty sure it's different from the others that live in a pipe though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in here. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come on every morning at 7.30 in the dark. Hmm. Yeah, remember that. Don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Yeah. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch colds, you know? <laughs> wow. Of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um, I think you're thinking of ducks. Mm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. Oh, wait, he was held back three times, wasn't he? But it'll make you happy. I'll answer your dumb question. Huh? So, um, what was the question again? Uh. Don't worry, we just answered it. Poor guy. There's some more things we need to talk to him about. Uh, chicken coop. Let's talk about that. There are a bunch of chickens in a chicken coop, right? Hmm. That's right! Five! Five chickens! <laughs> I love chickens. Aw, oh, God, I love it when she gets cute like that. It makes me feel a little better. It makes me feel like this place is not that, dis you know, that terrible after all. Let's raise them big and fat, then we can make fried chicken. Oh, a barbecue! Decisions, decisions. I like I was planned here. Oh, 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 how about raw? Because there's nothing fresh than raw, right? Oh, no, uh, we knew. We don't want to catch salmonella. <sighs> I'm pretty sure that'll kill you. Now, who is the stupid one? <laughs> who is the idiot in this situation then? <laughs> you know? <laughs> she is making, you know, she's proud to call Yasuhiro an idiot, but yet she wants to eat raw chicken. Oh, wait, let's not do that. That's a terrible idea. Tool shed. Let's talk about this. You noticed it too, huh? The pickaxe. What? Huh? What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the word Crazy Diamond has been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Hmm. Crazy Diamond. Hmm. Well, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Huh? Where? Ah, uh, that's it. I remember. Wait. Wait a minute. Why does it why does a pickaxe have crazy diamond written on on it and also his jacket? This the pickaxe and Mondo are connected. Either... Oh god, it's like the chicken or the egg situation. Did the pickaxe come from Mondo? Did the Mo did Mondo come from the pickaxe? Right? That's what I'm thinking here. Jesus. I am. Okay, so my theory is here. Either... Mondo is not a real person, but was actually... Created? Or fabricated, and the whole backstory with Crazy Diamond is unreal, and they're only based off the Crazy Diamond over. No, 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 no. There's a reason why it's written Crazy Diamond on there. Maybe it's, maybe it's his. Oh God, that supports my my personal theory even more. Nope, nope. Mom's award. Nope, not telling it. Not telling it. It was a Mondo's uniform on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Hmm. But, what, but why would that be on a pickaxe in the garden? Could it be... Mondo must have snuck it in and done it, right? Nope, the rooms were never opened at the time. Not possible. But we didn't have access to the garden until today. That's right! Then, maybe Mondo brought it with him when he first came here, and Monokuma confisc confiscated it. Whatever the, re whatever the reason, that's what struck onto me in the tool shed. The pickaxe connected to Mondo. Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't a pickaxe at all. Huh? Then what did? Yo! What I noticed was a lawnmower. I think maybe we can use it to call for help. Huh? How are you gonna call for help with a lawnmower? What the heck? I don't know. Maybe maybe I can use it to make crop circles or something. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna make crop circles. Well? And then we can use those to call for help. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the heck happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? You know? Well, back then my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now than I've ever been. I'm a little disappointed too. God. Is there anything else with him? Let's check just in <laughs> case. 
give me away regardless. Okay, never mind. We just he doesn't have anything else to add here. Okay, what about Kyoko? What does she think? Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sam Rio. Welcome to the Hello, what have we got here? Hello, ladies. How's it going? Breasts as a treasure thing that. I kinda wanna say you could dress better. 